Alright, hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Kerbal Space Program, Permadeath. Um, I was originally going to record an episode before this one, but the last episode I just decided to scrap because it was just me designing a launcher, so boring stuff like that. Um, in this episode we will be launching, well, finishing up designs and launching to the moon and landing. Now, the rules for this for this permadeath is that um, if one Kerbal dies, or yeah, if one Kerbal dies, then the permadeath is over. Um, I have to land on every celestial body except and then, like stay there, and then at the end I'll just take them all off, like fly them back to Kerbin. Um, but I have to. Um, except so every single planet moon you name it except for the sun and jewel because you know jewel hurts and the sun is really hot so yeah right and finishing up with the action group thingy stages saving and launching right <laughs> Here, I'll cut from this part and uh, I'll be back because it takes a while for it to load up to the launching s launch. Before we launch, actually, let's go ahead and add more fuel. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of those. Because we added more fuel down there, we're gonna need some extra booster things. Let's go ahead and put it like that. Right. Oh, of course. <laughs> this is kind of boring. And right there. Let's go ahead and. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> Grab. Okay, that's way too high. Needs to be level. Good enough. Kind of off to off centered a lot, but all right, all right, that's uh, good enough for me. Let's just make sure that these are down there. And same with this. And then let's put some nose cones on them. And then let's add some wings. Better control. Now, this should work. <sighs> on. Alright, so here we are on the launch pad finally. Um, with everything swaying back and forth. Um, hopefully this time it will work with everything fitted with more fuel and uh, more launchers and boosters and so on. Let's turn on the SAS and cross our fingers and hope that it will make it. Uh oh, cut the fuel. Cut everything. Gonna have to let those burn. I completely forgot to um put those th you know thingy I forgot to disconnect these sooner so that I wouldn't just sit here and burn so now let's go ahead and decouple that okay maybe that wasn't a good idea and then do this Okay, it doesn't seem like that was a good idea. Mm-mm. How long does it take? Okay, stuff is exploding. Let's not do that. Okay, considering we're not in any risk, I'm just going to restart the flight. Alright, restart. Restart. 
right? Okay. Fifth try or whatever. This time we're gonna make it. In three, two, one, launch. Hey, right, we actually made it out of the thingy. Yes. Off the little structure pad thing. Did anything fall off? Uh, doesn't look like it. Alright. We're accelerating a little fast. Slow that down a little bit. Alright. Well, actually, let's just speed it up. Man, this game is really boring sometimes. But it is a lot of fun when you get stuff done. Slow it down and disconnect that. I have no idea how we're still okay. Um, because I just smashed into the side of that and that was really lucky. I don't know. I haven't played this game very much, so I wouldn't know if that was if it, if they'd never break some like the bigger fuel tanks or I don't know. Either way, <laughs> I'm glad nothing broke. Right. Let's see something to talk about. Well, now we just have to make a 45 degree turn. And to the 90, turn on SAS again, and then full power. Now, we get our apoapsis up to 90,000 meters. <laughs> so it'll take a little while. Alright, let's see. So we're nearing 20. Okay, we just need to make sure that the T minus thing is going up, which it is, which is good. And our epilepsis is going up. That, both good signs. Now I just need to make sure that we don't run out of fuel. Let's turn these on right now. To give us even more thrust. Because I really don't want to be underneath the atmosphere. I, I really don't want to be in the atmosphere still. want to get out. Come on, a little bit further. Oh, there we go. And decouple that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're tipping. And SAS. And 75. Looks good. 76 looks even better. There we go. And then right there, we're going to add a maneuver. This work gets a little tricky. Just not really. <laughs> we just need to turn our semi orbital thingy into an actual orbit. Right there. And then turn it around. So 76, that's really small. Make that bigger. 57, 75, 81. Looks good enough to me. It doesn't need to be a perfect orbit. And then let's just turn around with our RCS. And we need to get on that little blue node. And right there. And I just need to time accelerate. And then we'll wait. Let's actually start burning at 20 seconds because these engines are really slow. So we're going to need a little bit extra time actually. A lot of time actually. <laughs> a lot of extra time actually. Where are we? 
want to focus on my thing. Where is it? There it is. Alright, so we're right there. Our apoapsis is 76 still. We need to get this thingy all the way around the planet. So that's going to be hard to do. Especially considering how slow we're going. I can't speed it up either. I don't know if we're going to make it. Well, it looks like it, we might. Yeah, we got this. Cockpit. We. What is that? What is it? I think that's the nuclear engine. Let's check. What is it? Cause like if I'm looking out of his cockpit view, what am I looking at? Oh well, doesn't matter. Just hopefully we can make this orbit happen. Time accelerate. That's going up. Oh. We're going down. Down very quickly. Okay. Bad stuff. Deploy the chute. Good stuff. Get rid of the node. Deploy more parachutes. More. Turn on the engines. Full power. We need to slow down. Get the landing gear out. Okay, this, this launch was a failure, obviously. Let's just hope that we won't fail at landing. Man, I suck at this game so much. Well, this was a pretty stupid episode. We didn't really get anything done. Let's cut that parachute. We don't need that parachute. Come on, slow down. Oh, poop. Oh! Alright. Out. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't start firing. Hurry up and transfer stuff. To both sides. Alright, good enough, good enough. And now we just need a burn. Slow us down so we can save the lander, maybe. Just to see if we can actually land. At least this at least this will test out how well this can land. Oh, we're speeding up. Two times. Uh oh. Up, 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 up. There we go. There we go. We landed. Jebediah's dancing. All right. Well, um, didn't really end as well. I thought I thought as well as I thought it would. But um, thank you guys for watching. Um, maybe next episode we'll be able to actually land on the moon or somewhere else besides the Caribbean. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check out my channel and other stuff and uh, see you guys next time.